Right now, more than ever, graphic design is all around us. Words and pictures, the building blocks of graphic design, are quite literally everywhere. They're the elements that make up our interface to both the digital world and the printed world. And as graphic design elements become more prevalent in our lives, graphic design as a practice becomes more important in our culture, and there's an increased need for more graphic designers. Graphic design is a really broad field. It can take many forms. You can be a graphic designer and just make books or logos. You could design web interfaces or t-shirts, chocolate boxes or political posters. But what all of these specialized areas of graphic design have in common is that design is being used to represent a product or an idea or a message and convey that to an audience. Design is a way of communicating something to someone else through visual means. There are many different types of graphic designer. Some are very technical, some very formal. Some have a practice derived by research or concept, and some are driven purely by style or aesthetics. Others by the desire to experiment, but they all deal with controlled communication through text and image. Sometimes designers just use image, illustration, and sometimes they just use text, typography. But mostly designers use a combination of the two, tied together by the use of color and composition. In this course, I'd like to try and reduce this vast and varied practice down to some fundamental skills. These are the building blocks you need to master in order to be able to eventually build something more complex and refined, and they're going to be relevant to pretty much every specialized area of graphic design. We're going to break graphic design down into its basic components, image, type, shape, and color, and then we'll look at composition, where we put all the elements together into a composed piece of graphic design. By breaking the larger practice of graphic design down into these smaller areas, we can examine how each of them works and learn about them in greater depth. I don't just want you to watch a video of someone talking about design, I want you to make design, to get your hands dirty, to get excited about making. So this fundamentals course is going to be a practical one. I'm going to show you visual examples of the things I'm talking about, and I'm going to have you make some of those same things. After all, if you want to be a designer, you have to be a visual person. You have to be a maker, either a maker of meaning or a maker of form, or preferably both. By the end of this course, you will have tasted the core aspects that make up the practice of graphic design. You'll have experimented with image making, tried your hand at typography, and learnt about colour, shape, and composition. Hopefully, you'll have acquired an appetite to develop those skills, a desire to continue to build your skills, with the ultimate goal of becoming a successful graphic designer.